We're in a two <laughs> and fire and so. Uh, all right, so uh, I know it's been two weeks since we last uh, gathered together for this. And, oh, sweet little doggy. Uh, we all gathered together for this. Uh, but when we last were here, uh, your bard friend in the company uh, decided ill-fatedly to uh, attempt to con the mayor of Mid Midpoint. Uh, he It was going all, s all so well, except that one member of the party was completely suspicious about what he was talking about, and then he sort of tipped his hand to everybody in the party by... Um, going out and coming back and presenting a image of a Warforged that he was attempting to sell to the mayor, which everybody in the party would, you know, knew that they didn't have in their party. <laughs> so, uh, the very lawful member of the party decided that, hey, we can't allow this, and, um, got him arrested. Um. Hi. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh. You then were essentially instructed uh, to take that hundred gold that he conned, uh, which was actually given to, he actually gave up to the rest of the party, and do the job that was actually, the money was actually promised for, which was to hunt through the sewers and find oh. out what the what in the yep. world was going on down there. You guys discovered that there was cult activity down there, and managed to bring one back alive. A uh, mustachioed uh, cult leader uh, who you have tied up and have escorted back out of the sewers and are now marching him through the streets. So, what would you guys like to do? Hey, Grizz. Yep. Uh, Caleb had, Caleb's character had actually given me half of the gold. Yeah. Okay. Alright, I just wanted to I double check. I was a little confused. Oh, okay. So the other half went to, was it Nori? Like in the communal gold, essentially? Uh, I believe so. <laughs> I just uh, don't remember us role-playing the gold being given to him, so I was wondering if you wanted to play it as if yeah, we're gonna the bard had given us the other 50. The other 50 ended up you know, tossed to you after he was arrested, after the mayor okay. decided to not penalize all of you for, for, for his actions uh, and make sure that you guys did what um, you were going to do. Uh, which is mainly... Well, we did what we were doing. Yep, you brought back a uh, cultist. Get this cultist turned in before he causes trouble. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or somebody kills him by accident. Because, <laughs> you know. Accident, you say? I mean, wasn't that sort of our plan? To get him killed anyway? That's we need. But we handled him first. Well, am I misremembering our old plan? Oh my god. <laughs> you guys are just talking over each other and I can't make out what you're saying. I know. Every time I start talking, someone speaks up. <laughs> no, it's Sorry. you a group. <laughs> Oh no! I, I know with him in, in this specific circumstance, but just feel like repeatedly people keep talking about as I'm talking. But either what it's going to say is, I'd hate for his head to roll like a bit of cabbage before we turn him in. Um, Looks pointedly at Tallulah. Yeah, I was going to say Tallulah just feels eyes on her, like <laughs> what? But minor illusion make his head turn into a cabbage. Man's head's just downcast and now it looks like a cabbage. <laughs> Great. Now he's a vegetable. Good job. <laughs> uh, let's just hand him in already. Agreed. I mean, after we hand him in, we did. I did promise to Lula that she could cut his head off if they decided to execute him. True. Let's just hope that she doesn't get hungry afterward. Lula is just holding her great sword. Like, can I hit him? 
Please. Later. Yeah. Wait, are you gonna wear one of those hoodie things that executioners wear? No. She can just I suck to... her head into her shell. <laughs> you <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. Uh, no. Um, I just thought that maybe, um, I want him to see the pure anger in my eyes as I chop his head off. So maybe she could wear a turtleneck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was awful. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> What? I'm shelling out good money for these jokes. Mm. <sighs> Moving on. Please kill him off. So, <laughs> so your, um, your your one companion proves to be very pun oriented. Yep. And he's been this way ever since you've known him in the office. In fact, the only person in this party who isn't used to his puns at this point, or mortally embarrassed by his puns for hearing them too often would be the uh, the cat woman. Oh, she don't mind. She's not embarrassed. Oh, she be embarrassed. So you, they give her chuckles. When you bring the prisoner, the cult got the cult leader did, uh, down to uh, the uh, the guardhouse where you originally saw your companion get drugged off to, uh, you notice that the mayor is already there waiting for you. Uh, he'd actually run on. A, long ahead after he was informed by uh, people seeing you drag this guy through the streets that you had a prisoner. So he is clapping his hands together and just grinning beatifically at you. What do you have what do you have have here? We got your present the necromancer Hand. one of your favorite Yeah well a necromancer, a necromancer. Hand. <sighs> Hands off. I get to kill him. Ah. Well it kind of like shoots a glance at uh, at at uh, the um, the turtle. Uh, n no, uh, n we're not gonna summarily execute this man if that's what you're. I I didn't realize that executions were so popular in your country. Um, no, no, w we need to find get more information out of him. Uh, so um... right, but I can kill him after. The the mayor's eyes just go <laughs> wide with the turtle. Nori promise. <laughs> He also has made some very, very negative remarks towards our total friend, and she's looking yeah. to make sure he receives the proper punishment. I want to make his head, then, his head roll like well, I did his friends. One should not be put to death simply for making ill-advised comments. But he but is Lord also a necromancer. Promised. Yes, that is not a capital offense. Right now, it is simply an arrestable offense. Nori promised. He had a bunch of skeletons, and skeletons are what are coming out of the woodwork. Be that as it may, we need to know a lot more. We need to know about his organization, and if all he's going to receive is death afterwards, I don't think that's going to be incentive for him to Do talk. you have a way to make him talk? Because he was pretty tight-lipped. Uh, Tallulah smiles. I can make him talk. Well, oh, God. We we do have a few Give me ten minutes. A, a few temples here. Um, the, the, I I am aware that the clerics have been employed in the past to, uh, well, loosen a man's tongue in, in the presence of the gods. I'll do it for free. <laughs> I think Question. what they're saying is they're looking to interrogate him? him in a way to where, where he'll survive, and that is legal. We are technically in another country. I'm saying he'll survive. I'm just saying he might not come back with all the body parts he left with. I mean, the zone of truth spell won't actually work, though. All I, all, the, the eyes of the mayor are right on you, Nori. Why not? Um, zone of truth doesn't force you to speak. You could just Stay silent. True, but anything he does say will be verified as truthful. It yes, but be, he... It won't simply be what we want to hear, now would it? What if he just doesn't speak? I'm sure we'll find some way of getting him to speak. Now, you, you've, done, you've done your job here. Um, you have located this individual and stopped him and brought him to us. Uh, that means the debt between us is concluded. Um, 
Still, I uh, am a bit alarmed to hear some of the practices that go on in your country. I do apologize for any misunderstanding, yeah. but based off of what some of the guards have told us as we travel through the country, necromancers that are actively practicing and attacking people were treated with very, like a very high degree of hostility. I do apologize if we misunderstood. Hostility and, and instant death are two different things. At any rate, um, is there anything you do know about this man? Uh, any? I'll give you 50 famous? gold so I can kill him. Tallulah, that's enough. The mayor is just kind of shaking his head, sadly. Fine. Well, then I guess... Pulls out a cabbage. Starts munching it. Sorry, I get... I, I get hangry. I'm sorry. Yeah, More yes, happening. I, uh, I said I'm sorry! I, suppose, I said I'm sorry. I, I suppose so. Uh, Alright then. Uh, I'm afraid your uh, friend is still going to need to be our guest for a little bit longer. Uh, I do apologize. I will arrange for him to be returned to your home country. Uh, it's better not get me then. fired. You can keep him. You can keep him. Is our gift to you? Uh, that, that that is quite all right. Um, I, Maybe he could get to work on that warforged. Don't make him take. Don't make us take him back. Please. Have you heard his playing? Uh, anyway, um. Are you, are you staying the night, or are you moving on from here? Do, do, do you know... What time of day is it? Uh, it's actually... I think it's still morning, or mid-afternoon by this point. Or, like, you know, kind of noonish at this point. Since you, I believe, went to the mayor's place first thing in the morning, and then quickly went from there to the sewers. So. It's like midday, I would guess. Yeah. yeah. And we, how far is, like, the forest that we... Heard, we where the, we were kind of told the skeletons were coming from, like, areas, and, like, another day? Let me take a look. I'm looking at late... I'm gonna, pulling up my, uh, my master map. I mean, unless the mayor knows more about any attacks, I don't remember if we asked him... It's been a while. <laughs> we haven't yeah. talked... It's, it's, it's like been a while, months, yeah. Since we talked to this guy, I don't remember if we asked him if he knew anything about recent attacks. I know we knew like it was a certain area around a certain forest. Kind of southish, south southeast. Oh, oh, oh. They it's actually said that area. it's approximately sixty three it's about sixty miles, uh going on a in a straight line direct to the forest. Um but that would be on foot off the roads. Uh it's uh, forty miles on a road which is about a day's worth of travel on the road, and then it's another um, 40 miles into the woods from there, if you want to go it that way. Uh, it's basically your choice about how you wish to attempt to get to the woods. Right, and real quick, the um, the day's travel, is that with or without the super rhinos? Uh, it would be a day's travel uh, with with the rhinos. It would be, because um, you get a day's travel to, to via the road, and then you would have to uh, go off-road off to get to get to the woods, or you could go all off road, which would probably take you. Let's see, that's one day. Well, actually, it both 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 ways. It can't, takes you two days. It just depends on if you want to go on the road or you want to cut through through the farms. Well, we should probably leave as soon as possible. Like if we take if we take the cut through the farms, we're gonna need like mounts instead of carriages, probably. Well, either way, you're going to be ending up off the road for at least a day. So we need to get some kind of ride. So how much oh. money do we have and can we buy things to ride on to get there? Um. <laughs> I mean, I... he technically already has a ride. He can just hop on Tallulah. Well, yeah, King, but but Tallulah's not gonna. I 
Tallulah has to ride, you know. It's probably gonna have to ride a rhino or something. That's probably gonna cost extra because she's kind of big, right? Are you calling her fat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. no, I just don't think a horse can hold the shell up. I'm not even sure how that would work. Like a tur turtle riding a horse, like it comes it's out. It's all the cabbage. It's all the cabbage. Comes out with a miniature pony. Will this fit? <laughs> On you. <laughs> give it to Keen. Just snap, snap him in real life. Just get up and go to his desk and smack him. I, I, really, my desk. I really doubt that we have the money for even renting a mount. What 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 about the the, the, the king here? Do you think he could help us out? Listen, That's I'm sure mayor. we can just Mayor, yeah. first yes. Secondly, uh, I'm pretty sure we can just go on foot cab. for the off road part. Like follow the road as far as we can and then we can off just on foot. Do we really need a mount? We go faster, that's the only thing. Like it might take us two days where a mount would take us one day. We could also see if there's any fair going south by the road and then we take the shorter route through the forest to avoid getting lost, or at least minimize it. I think we shouldn't take the road, but I think like she said it's like it's like forty miles down the road and then forty miles into the forest. So we're yes. gonna be walking forty miles on foot, which is gonna take us a couple days, I would think. Tallulah's gonna go find a map. Is there a map anywhere, Grizz? Uh, yes. I thought we got a map uh, from the mayor. Yeah, we had a map. map. Great. She's gonna look at the map. Yeah. On the map. Yeah, I think um, I think Grizz has to pull it up because it's a map yeah. filter on her thingamajig. Let's see. There's also a handout. I think no, there's a map of uh, there's a map of Everest, all of Everest, in there. And then there's a basically the map um, that you guys have because you did a mar you put a marking on there. Uh, called the yeah, that was map. a yeah. Let's see, you guys are currently oops, wrong thing. You guys <clears throat> are currently here at midpoint. Uh, you put a mark on your map to indicate about where uh, various t you tax removed to have last come from skeletons and of course down here is the forest yeah so 40 miles on a road and then another 40 miles and i forget what it is it's like 20 miles a day on foot uh it's like 20 acres. i have the the uh, uh, fast speed but um, like the mount is like 60 miles a day or something like that yeah, fast uh, fa fast speed is eight, eight miles an hour so if you're moving, you know, tw uh, t and I put the days at the right at regular hours, uh, you know, our hours, 25, 24 hours. So if, let's say, you moved about 12 hours in a day, 12 times 8. Uh, brain is not doing math at the moment. So that's, that's what, 36? No, wait. Fast, she can go 30 miles a day at a normal pace, 24 miles a day. And that's using mounts and vehicles, it seems. Basically, I, I, I said that, that, you know, with the various mounts on the safe road, you can move at max speed and get all the way down to here in a, de in a, in a day. All the way down to the bottom part. But, you know, short, short as Now, the main thing would be... Like that, because you're cutting off there. But, uh, My main concern not... is that we'd have to wait. Sorry, sorry, because I thought you were done. Go ahead. No, 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 I'm just uh, working it out. So, uh, my main concern in character would be that uh, uh, that the cab, fare, whatever you want to call them, the carriage, would not be willing to travel where they'd have to camp out. Well, that's why I'm thinking so they if can't we just recall... bought mounts. We don't have the money. We asked. We asked yeah, about we... that in the previous Depends town, and that would be money. hundreds upon hundreds of gold, even for just horses. Where it was, what, just a couple gold, like maybe ten to get all of us down here. Yeah, it wasn't that much uh, to, um, to to take a cab down here. But that's because, like, you know, cabs are common between uh, Midpoint and uh, Hellspring. 
so that makes, puts the fair because we had like what two weeks to do this and we're already like almost a week in uh, let me that's only been like three days because it took like us three days a couple of days to get from there to here and then it's we've... been four days it's been four days since you were given the, the the two weeks and a week in Eberus time is uh oh, that's right it's like 10 it's days it's 10 days so you actually have another 16 days I mean that's gonna be a long ass walk if we go off on foot, but you, you also have a sending stone um, that you can use to talk to the the, the chancellor um, to, if he if you find something relative to help him delay the king, if need be, till you can actually get any physical evidence before him. Fill the chancellor in that we found skeletons in the sewer of uh, midpoint. Yeah, I probably should let him know that there was. Necromancers in the sewers. And like, and like separatist. Point. He was like he's like a separatist, like necromancer or whatever they call them. The people. Yeah, that separatist. Yeah. So like we should we should probably fill him in on the separatist necromancers we found in midpoint sewers. Yeah, I would say so. We should probably inform the. Um... Actually, probably should inform the mayor of that just to help him get a little more direction in his lines of questioning. Separatist yeah. Minotaur. Minotaur suck. Yeah, you, he said you, it a lot. Yeah, you guys are, <laughs> are still kind of standing there near the by the mayor. You can always just like you know, he basically had the guards bring the guy in, and he is there talking to um to one of his guardsmen. Uh, you guys are just like a little bit away, and you can still see him standing out there. So you can always just go over now and tell him. Minotaur suck, and that you know. <laughs> he he looks eye to eye with you, Keen. <laughs> he he's a, said he was a separatist. Yeah, th that makes sense. So uh, you know that might help. Th thank you, thank you for the for information. I also apologize for the words of my temperamental friend. We will be figuring out how to get to our destination now, so we'll be leaving you. The, the halfling kind of gazes up at the turtle. Like, yeah, uh, good luck. I don't we'll think need we'll it. need luck. We will need well, bandages. We will need luck. Thank you very much. Town down here. Like, way, way to the south. Well, there I are think other... Nora can do anything. There, there are I mean, other... I'm just I'll curious if there's like a, 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 like a, a carriage line that goes between here and that town and we could just like hop off here. Yeah. Yeah, you can always you can always uh, hire you know can always get in a, into a, one of those carriage lines. Uh, it'd probably be a bit more squeezed in than the one that you took uh, from. Yeah, we um, could ride share. From yeah, from from from, from uh, Fire Down. Sorry, the entire country is Hellspring. Yeah, the, the city, the capital city of Fire Down, um, all the way to uh, Midpoint. That was like just you guys. Uh, probably from getting from Midpoint to the next town down here. Um, it is probably you're gonna get. Potentially box him with a couple other people, and try not to get eaten by birds. Hippo, hippo, birds. Yeah. But yeah, carriage to here, and then hoof it into the. Yeah, that's what I've been trying All to right. tell everyone. All right. <laughs> mm -hmm, agreed. That's what I was saying as well. I, for I forgot that the weeks were ten days. I was like, we're almost halfway there, but no, we're we're not. Okay. It doesn't I matter almost, how, we, how we got I here, but we got here. <laughs> <laughs> I almost forgot that detail, but I, I remembered shortly before Drew said it. Yeah. So let's find us a carriage. Yep. Let's go finding the carriage that will take us to where we need Although, to be. should we pick up supplies before we, like... How is everybody on we supplies? We don't need any... Yeah, yeah we need more uh, I, I definitely want, like, arrows, maybe, and you probably want bolts. Oh, I I thought you oh yeah. All oh, yeah. right. Someone, someone <laughs> used all my bolts. That's right. Keen, I can like, use some more as well. Keen conveniently lost all of your bolts in the sewer. <laughs> he didn't want to back. He recovered a poop. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm rem just remembering all of these things because it's been like we, yeah. we might want to stack up and then hit yeah. 
yeah, I do need more bolts now. After someone lost them. Last time letting Keen borrow my crossbow. Maybe we should see about getting Keen a silent he's, weapon, depending on the price. He's got a short bow. He's got a short bow now. Um, okay. But he just needs arrows because I don't, I don't have arrows on here. I might have. Oh, yep. All right, arrows, let's, but let's do a quick restock and then let's plan to head up. Shopping. <laughs> Very quick shopping for arrows and rations. Insert shopping montage here. Yeah. So you guys find yourself pretty quickly uh, towards a uh, the general store called Middle Supply. Uh, it, it's you know it, it's not you know compared to back home, this store is like you know a tiny quaint. Even your tiniest villages don't have a store quite this quaint. <laughs> Uh, but you know, for for a place like this, this is probably you know they're they're, you know, one of their larger stores. It just has nothing on on your shops and malls and all the things that you guys are used to back back home, with the exception, of course, of the uh, of of the cat. She, you know, this is normal. This, this type of store is normal to her. Uh, so you see, like you know, the general racks of of um, of goods, like you know, hard tack and other types of rations and ropes and you know. Uh, Bits of arrows and bolts, uh, the uh, the occasional like water skin that you see ha hanging off of something that's been freshly cured, and be behind the counter, um, just kind of watching you all come in, is a uh, burly minotaur female. Uh, hi there. Um, I was wondering, how much are your bolts? Uh, the bolts. And she kind of like looks over at the at the closest case of bolts. Well, that'll uh, that'll run you uh, about a gold per case. So Keen is gonna put a gold on the counter because he used up his bolts, and so he's being nice and replacing them. Oh, thank you. And then he'll ask about arrows because he wants to get a bunch of arrows. They're also a gold per bunch. Okay. I can sell so you. So twenty. It's twenty in a bunch. Yep. Twenty. Okay, so twenty per gold. Okay. So he plops two gold on the counter for those because he's gonna just get a fuckload and of arrows. Have some, some nice uh, kind of bluish grayish feathers on them. Hey Nori, any chance we could pull uh, one more gold out of the communal coffers? I'd like to get a couple more bolts as well, just in case. All right. Here's an another gold. Oh, so then, two bundles of bolts, of bolts and a bundle of arrows. Keaton's gonna buy some gross ass hardtack. <laughs> yeah, each 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 ration, you know, the hardtack would be included in the rations, uh, is five silver for a day's worth of rations. So that's how many silver is a gold? Hundred. Uh, ten. ten. It's a ten system. Okay. So. Yep. And then there's yeah. electrum. Because fuck Electrum. So if I get five, that's two and a half gold. Right? Right. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, I'm that's why nobody bothers with Electrum. So that I have ten, because Keen likes to just chew on things. Yeah, well, the hard tax is good for that. Imagine him sitting on top of the carriage, like, eating a- just chewing on it the whole ride, because that's how long it takes to eat the damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> If you guys uh, everyone... hard tech, because I used to do civil reenactments, and it is literally like the hardest thing. It's it, like a the hardest a really thing really this side of dwarf red kind of. It's almost dwarf red. Isn't, isn't hard tech basically bread that's been dehydrated and compressed to the consistency of a board, so it lasts ages? And, uh, yeah, it, it's if you ever had an oyster cracker, it's like an oyster cracker, but like. Ten times it, it, it's oh, the flavor, right. but then it's like ten times denser. Like, and you literally have to just like chew on it for hours and hours. They used to take it and put it in like water with like pork and stuff to like get it soft enough to eat. I figured I've people never use heard. it as a, as a soup thickener, uh, like you know, just dump it in boiling water. I've never heard of an oyster cracker before. They don't have. Is it actually like oyster? 
Or is it just a cracker that's Dude, typically either. eaten with oysters? It, it's No, it's shaped like an oyster. It's usually eaten it, with soups. Yeah, well, you, well, here in Maryland, you eat it in, like, crab soup and stuff. So it's I think it is related to originally being, like, an oyster, put in oyster stew. We, we used to get them all the time in New back in uh, various places in New England, um, Boston and, every, and stuff when I was a kid. But they're, like, vaguely round, and they're, like, kind of hard. And they, they kind of look like, I mean, if, if, if you've ever had, like, a saltine, you know yeah. what those are? I don't know how else to explain a saltine if you've never had a saltine. I imagine there's plenty of things I've heard of a saltine. That, down in Australia that, that, that they, they eat normally that we've never heard of. It's a soda cracker. Like Veggie Pygmy, I mean Vegemite. No, I've, I've known about Vegemite since I was a little kid. Oh, I've, by the I've way, Grizz, I've known about it, quick, but I've never had it. I've heard it's gross. Quick, quick thing I need to talk to you about at the end of the campaign about Wednesdays. Super quick, though. Okay. Okay, so you pick up your supplies. Uh, you notice that the uh, the cat girl is somewhere in the back, looking disappointed about things. Sage, or our scholar, escape? Or is he still with us? No, James should still be with us. Oh, Jason? No, no, yeah, Jason. Jason's, Jason, yeah. still, Jason's still there. He's um, currently sitting on a bench just outside the uh, the thing, looking through a book. Yeah, he's going nowhere. He's staying very in eyesight of us. Still don't trust him. He's like, you know, uncertain whether he's supposed to be joining you guys or whether he's supposed to just walk away now since he's the only one to get to the midpoint, but... But he's, like, taking it to the idea that, you know, if he, if he tried to walk away at this point, that you'd probably just shoot him. <laughs> Yeah, Scholar Boy is, is sitting there reading. And I'm quietly sulking. <laughs> Take him back with us when we leave. This, the, like, where we came from would just, like, make his brain explode. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, Alright, everyone finish shopping. Sadly, yeah. My bow, arrows, and bread. I was cutting you down. Oh, wait, hold up. So, what would you guys like to do? Now that you've uh, completed your... 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 Bleh. Completed getting materials. Try to find a... Carriage. Carriage. To south. Sorry for that feedback. I um, I'm like I'm walking You're cleaning. I have my headset on. Sorry, you, you, I have my headset on. I, I, uh, and um, I'd walk into the same room as as Elf, and she's like breaking down boxes and stuff. And this that sound feedback through our our mics. Sorry about that. Okay. So you eventually after you know. Re-upping your supplies, gathering up Jason, uh, find your way to the, basically a, a hitch post, uh, in town near, the... uh, I, I already told you, Jesse, you don't find anything else, that was the only thing, sorry, oh, I, I misread what I, you wrote, I, I misread what you wrote, I, I thought, said I any other you, musical, I thought you said no, th are there no others, I, I thought you said no, never mind, my brain did oh. not process that fast. Sorry, there was no others. There's just the one. There's just the one instrument. Yeah, I, 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 I don't, I don't want to pick up that instrument. <laughs> no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so you guys uh, find yourself down to a hitching post where the various cabs and carriages that uh, are on the traveling route do you, uh, are currently uh, resupplying. 
uh, and you see a uh, one particular uh, cab. Uh, this one being held by uh, several draft horses, and it seems like there's a rare gnome standing there, um, you know, trying to get customers. Uh, you don't see too many gnomes around here. In fact, this seems to be the only gnome, the only gnome in town. Uh, probably not the only one in country. There's like more in, back, you know, in the the capital city, but down here in uh, in Midpoint, this is the only gnome you've seen. Um, and he just kind of like looks around and like saying, uh, you know, trying to gather up people, saying, uh, tr cab to bottom town, cab to bottom town. Anyone looking for transportation to the to, to the final destination? <laughs> that has a different meaning in my eyes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the final destination. Ah, uh, what? I couldn't watch those movies. I I too twitchy. <laughs> I couldn't take the like, oh god, he's gonna die, and he didn't die. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah. And then they die. <laughs> um, we might be needing at least partial trip. Partial? Yeah, we they kinda, like, need to get to... at you for, from, from this spot. What do you mean by yeah, partial? Yeah, we, we need to get to the uh, forest that is... Uh, southeast from here. Well, I ain't going to no forest, friend. Uh, yeah, no, sticking to the sticking to the road. Just, sticking to the road. Which is yes, that's, that's why fine. we want the partial trip. Mm -hmm. we'll that's why we want a partial trip. to the next town. So well, when not... the road starts turning west. Oh, so yes. you, you basically just want to ride all day and get off at night, huh? Yeah. Much, I guess. No, well, that's, that's not accurate safe. enough. Well, that'll be up to you, but that, that, uh, see, my cab, uh, the, um, the, these horses, they're, they're kind of special, you see, they'll, uh, run all the way to the next, to the next town, uh, without needing a break. They can actually go for a full 24 hours. Pretty special, huh? Yeah, very special, but we don't need to go to bottom town. Yeah, so, so what I'm saying is, is that, uh, you're gonna have to be awake to uh, know when to get off. You When's your next know. trip start? When's your oh. next trip starting? Soon. I'm t I was hoping to get, t to get going about as soon as I get enough people to fill up my uh, to fill up my uh, transport. And he looks at all of you well, and, and grins. Well, right. if I got all of you coming, uh, I should be able to manage that. I'll just have to pick up some other fares on the next town. We could just uh, we could just take a quick doze while we're on the trip, and after that we'll just jump off, get to the forest, and then rest until morning. Any small towns or homesteads in that area that we're gonna that where the road turns? I'm assuming there's farmland around there. Uh, there are houses. the occasional farms, uh, but there's um, on the map you have there's none marked, but that doesn't mean that there aren't uh, you know people out there at this point. Uh, or that there might be places abandoned now that there's been, like, you know, sightings of skeletons attacking various homesteads. we be able to just find someplace safe to hole up if we have to, uh, camp out. Yeah. So how much is this going to cost us? Well, uh, for, for a nice, nice carriage ride? Let's see. Well... I'm not gonna charge you. Uh, charge you only half the rate. See, uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna be empty all the way to uh, to the next town. So once you guys get off, so I'm gonna charge you for the for the entire ride to the next town. So let's see. He starts calculating. It's understandable. One second. I'm just making a calculation in my head. Calculator. So that will be three gold, six silver. For each of you. He looks. For each? Well, I guess you can negotiate it down. He looks around. There's six of you. Hmm. 
Keen gets half price, right, kids, right? <laughs> uh, somebody roll a persuasion check on him. Uh, not very persuasive at all. Uh, I'm kind of persuasive. I got six. Go for it. Kind of just like flats with him a little bit, you know? Oh, Doesn't shit. Work. Flatting is not no. the way. <laughs> he looks up at, at, at uh, Fang, Fang Tail and like, are, are you looking to eat me? <laughs> Doesn't look like he's familiar with uh, your, your people. Lick lips, maybe. <laughs> Should I intimidate? <laughs> Anyone else wish to give Should me I a, do intimidation? Ch a preparation chance? I mean, I'm I mean, zero persuasive. What do you say? So I'm so more persuasive <laughs> than the than cat, somehow. <laughs> Fuck. Keen, what do you say to him? He's like, can I get, like, kids right? Because I'm half the size of everybody else? Or even, I'm a quarter the size of everybody the, the else. Then I'm grins. It's like, yeah, you're you're about the same size as me, and well, you're you're you kind of make that that fact is kind of made up for by by her, and you kind of gestures towards Tallulah. Um, I suppose, I guess I can reduce the rate for all of you down to an even fifteen gold. <clears throat> How does that sound? Wait, for all uh, of us, fifteen gold? All together, for the whole ride. Gold. For the ride, yeah. I mean, it's not too. Uh... Bad. I mean, we got a hundred for clearing the sewer, but did we? We got fifty for clearing the sewer. Well, somebody has the other fifty. Has the other 50. <laughs> Someone has the other fifty, yes. But yeah, all right, we'll take it. Ah, excellent. Well, I'll be ready to ready to leave as soon as you are. Jason uh, comes ready. into the back. Cracks open his book again. We're all ready to leave as well. Yeah, we probably should have gone with the uh, we're, we'll uh, protect you angle, but maybe they don't. Eh, know. I'm tired of protecting people. Need a break from it every now and then. Fang tail will cozy up to Jason. He just kind of slides his eyes to look at her. Thank God I Jason's here. To do that. I mean, I just want to read with you. <sighs> so I... I mean, on the bright side, once we jump off, I'll be able to help us move through the forest quickly. But I'm chuckles. Well, it's not like there's a forest anywhere nearby. It's uh, a little ways away. We know. I know. I'm just concerned about how much people have to trek in there on foot. <laughs> so as soon as you're all in, uh, he climbs up into the uh, carriage master spot and starts you off on your journey to the south. Is this an open carriage or does it have a roof? It's got a roof. If he allows me, I'd like to sit on the top again. Yeah, Keen would be up there too. If that gives everyone else in the cab a lot more space, so I imagine it's mm. fine. I actually have a couple questions for the gnome. I think you said it was a gnome. Might yes, be a halfling. It's a gnome. Because ha halflings so... are, are seen more commonly around these parts, but gnomes, not so much. So, I actually have a couple questions for you, just because, you know, yeah. keep work, working the job you do, I'm sure you meet quite a few interesting types. Some. So, as I'm sure you can guess, we're not from here. We're looking to investigate the attacks that have been going on down south from the Separatists. Have you heard any rumors? Anything we might be able to chase down or follow up on? Mm. Well, I guess that depends. Yeah, there's, if you really think that the attacks are from the Separatists, yeah, that that could make a lot of sense. Uh, and I'm perfectly fine with hearing the crazy rumors. We'll filter through them. I just want any information I can get. I don't know. I guess the craziest rumor I've heard is, you know those woods you're talking about? 
Yeah, to the southeast. Yeah, yeah. There's been a lot of talk that those particular woods might be haunted or something. There's been all these lights, these really weird lights in that direction for a while now. That's actually something I wanted to hear. Thank you. We'll, we're making sure to chase that down. You, you think uh, that the Separatists might actually be held up out there? Personally, I have no clue. I'm new to town. But Separatist any information we can get... Separ oh, that sewer back there, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we just took him to the mayor before we packed up. That's nice. So how long were you in town for? Like, only like two days, right? I think you were just there overnight, really. Yeah. yeah. We literally stayed here a night. <laughs> Came in, cleaned up the sewers, and now we're gonna go clean up the woods? <laughs> yep. So hopefully we won't meet any <laughs> shit eaters while we're there. Probably other stuff. Like wolves. Do you guys have wolves? Some. Got wolves bears. out there. Uh, yeah, bears. Um, deer, boar. Squirrels? Elk. Oh god, squirrels. Sometimes. Uh, <laughs> spiders. Giant spiders. Uh, oh, even better. Owl bears, of course. I miss the city. <laughs> uh, it's actually been a while since I've been out camping. I'm glad to see the outdoors again. What's this camping? He looks, looks at you suspiciously. Where we live, it's a massive population center. To where you don't really see nature. Like, we have places called parks, where it's literally a couple hundred, maybe a couple thousand feet of green. Grass, trees, maybe little bits of water. For us, it's considered a break to be able to go out to a forest or somewhere not populated and just look up at the stars, enjoy the silence. Ah. Like, just and... imagine a town that would take you almost an entire day to walk across. Days in some. That, wow, there must be a, a whole lot of people out there. I'm sure you've heard about the train that's being constructed. Oh yeah, I've been hearing about that. that some sort mm -hmm. of rumor about this uh, a conveyance that'll even put me out of business, maybe. Yeah, I will say they'll probably need people to work on it. So if you're any good with your hands, they could probably use maintenance workers once everything gets running. Won't be exactly the same, but from what I've heard, it can pay good if you know what you're doing. Oh, uh, well, I'll look into that. I guess I still get to see uh, plenty of uh, of, the st of the cities and towns out this way then, huh? Yeah, getting around would be a breeze. Though, some, some countries I've heard it can be quite a pricey ticket for what it is. So maybe people like yourself will still be there as a commodity. Maybe. We'll see. Guess it depends on Out of character, the... watch him start an Amish community. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's probably what the separatists want. Keen already wants to move back here and open a donut shop. <laughs> He's noticed a distinct lack of donuts. <laughs> donuts would be nice. I'm sure he'd be keen on that. <laughs> Tallulah could be the face of your donut shop. Make cabbage flavored donuts? No, <laughs> she, could, she could just be the uh, the greeter. The, the person they think of when they think Keen's donuts. Or they could think of Keen. <laughs> Fine. Tallulah will just be a bouncer. Somewhere. You know, you, With guys, I mean, you, you have jump. jobs uh, back home. <laughs> ones that are You're thinking about retirement, you know? Like, ah. retiring and moving out to the country and opening a donut shop. Also a second job. 
So eventually, uh, sometime in, into the night, uh, after the gnome has finished speaking with you, and uh, you know the carriage has been lulling you somewhat to sleep, uh, you eventually start feeling it begin to turn and slow down a bit. Oh, time to get out. Yep, hey everybody, let's go. All right, folks. Let's go. Be safe. This is our stop, right? Yeah. He, yes, he, he I'll stop. Let's go. Start, start doing that. He does slowly bring the carriage to a stop, so that the people that are riding un unsafely on the roof do not go flying off of it. <laughs> Thank you. It's fine. I'm coordinated. <laughs> was worth thinking uh, of uh, you know a, a little uh, a little kobold go flying off into the night. <laughs> <laughs> and then the cobalt was never seen from again. <laughs> I think Keen is surprised at say... how dark it is. Though you will, though the rumors will say, late at night you'll see a blinding flash of light. <laughs> oh, yeah. dang say... it! My thumb was in the lens, and you'll see in the distance a cobalt on the back of an owl bear eating a donut. <laughs> There, Keen, you have you you have your uh, your 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 donut sign. <laughs> oh lord! Donuts like stacked on his little horns. <laughs> uh, so the the carriage the, the carriage stops long enough to let you guys off and continues on to the towards the west. Nori will just make sure that everyone got off. <laughs> So we're not missing anyone. Yeah, Jason came off with you. So did Jane. Wait, do we still have the bard with us or what? No, the bard got left behind in midpoint. In, in the jail cell. Uh, he got deported. He yes, literally got he, deported. He, <laughs> pretty much. He's getting deported. He's got to go answer to Alec, so it's not too bad. Yeah. Thankfully, Alec is not a vampire at the moment. He has aspirations to 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 become turned, given the culture of the of the country. But uh, at the moment, he's not a vampire, so that means that uh, he, that the bard is not going to be drained for for, for his uh, for for his trouble. Anyway, so it is dark out. The stars are numerous above your heads, and you even see the two moons high in the sky. A nice, close, uh, blood-red one with tinges of white, and the more distant blue-green one. You're on a, a plains. It is fairly cool this time of year. This time of year down this this way. That's probably like in the, well, the equivalent of the 50s in, in our thing. You know, Imperial. Like, yeah. Freedom units! Well, I hope everyone brought their hiking boots. Let's go. Kel looks very chipper as we start walking. Yo, way too eager for this. Staring up at the sky because there's a lot of stars and you don't see hardly any stars in the city. With the life I used to live, pushing, pu pushing paper across a desk and sharpening pencils is torture. I'm happy to be here. Technically, you still live that life. Hopefully, if we do good, I know. This, I like, see this as a vacation. Of other stuff, right? Sorry, oh, two, two people were talking. Uh, uh, turtle butter. Vacation that we have. Tur turtle butter? Yeah, what did, what did Turtle Butter say? Sorry. All I said was like, well, hopefully, if we do good at this, he'll send us out on other stuff. Hopefully. Hopefully, for you, they'll send you to places with electricity and Wi Fi. I want to cons consider this a uh, vacation, though. Jason is just giving you guys perplexed looks as you all walk along. Like, uh, Have a good one. Stay safe. Uh, are, are we going to stop and make camp soon? It's not like I can see anything out here. King can see, like, pretty far distance. 
is there like a road or path, like a farm path of any kind? Roll an investigation check. Like, because if we could find like a bu, 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 some kind of place. Yeah, there. I, I want to have I, a look at, out as well. I'll be honest. If you have, to, I was letting have, people finish. If you guys have dark vision, you can roll uh, normally. If you do not have dark vision, you roll at disadvantage. <laughs> I was not to say, but I. I was gonna say, but I want to let people finish talking. I was gonna light a torch and help Keen find a path, and then that she would... rolled, and that happened. That I don't know if you want to have... make her do a new roll. That would not have helped Keen because Keen is a kobold. Keen doesn't need a torch. Yeah. I know, but the two of us could <laughs> fan out. Yeah, that means you. Can... I don't know if that's roll that separate means... checks or give her advantage, but that gives you your own check. Uh, but I was gonna say in, with Nori's uh, check there, uh, uh, Nori, like you look around, it's like. In a low grass here. It's like barely up to your. It's it's like just a little bit over the tops of your boots. Uh, on on uh, Keen, it's probably you know up past thighs. You know, cobalt, uh, that sort of thing, or maybe up past, or maybe up to the calves. I forget exactly size differentials here. But um, seven feet. He's small. Yeah, yeah. It, it's not. It's not like uh, the alternate Saturday game where it was over the head of the dwarf. But <laughs> And, uh, actually, no, there wasn't a dwarf in that campaign. There, uh, uh, yes, there is. There's a, he's, he plays a dwarf in that campaign, a gnome in another campaign. Uh, but yeah, he. So the grass here, is, everyone can see over it easily and walk through it easily. Uh, and it takes Nori a little bit of looking around, um, especially with the torch suddenly flaring up, to notice that there is a small path, like, you know, just a small couple of footfalls that look more than just, like, a deer trail sort of thing. It looks like, you know, people with booted feet. Uh, passing through here regularly. Uh, and you see, uh, let's see st one heading just directly to the east, uh, one winding up to the northeast, and another heading uh, what looks like the southeast. Uh. I want to go east, so... Are we... So we just go the direct east? All right. Next place we go then. Yeah. Random question, just because I can't remember what the how it is for you know the actual Earth, but what's the distance to the horizon? Can we see trees yet? Uh, this is a oh, planet that's it, actually bigger than the Earth, so. Uh, that's I'm not what sure I thought. That's why I was asking. I'm not entirely sure what the differential would be. Um, yeah, I think for the normal Earth, the distance to the horizon is like. 16 miles if you're not on any kind of hill or structure. Alright. So if that's the case, if 16 miles is on normal Earth, then that's. I think. Very I'm rough going, estimate. I, I'm going to say that you, can see, you, you can't see that the trees yet. You'd have to be basically within a square next to them in order to, look, to okay. see the trees. Well, it's also nighttime. Personally, I yeah. wouldn't be able to see a gosh darn thing. Yeah, you, but, but, but I'm thinking of like in terms of. The, uh, the each individual square would mark it, it would basically mark your horizon lines is what I'm trying to think. It's like you know, okay, if cool. Treat, if we treat it somewhat like that, that's probably not correct because I'm not sure what the distance is. But if, if if 16 feet is sorry, 16 miles is the normal on Earth, then you know it stands to reason that something that's a lot bigger uh, than the Earth, the distances would be a bit bigger. And since those squares are more than 16 miles across, uh, mm -hmm. then I will say one weird thing about volume. As volume gets bigger, surface area gets bigger at a proportionally smaller rate. So it actually could be surprisingly close, but I'm, it's definitely bigger. Yeah. Just a fun fact. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not too keen on understanding that. So that, that, that's not my, that wasn't never my bread and butter in school. I uh, learned about electronics. The more you know. Yeah, I did electronics and programming and such. Same. And physics. But not, but not vis, but not the visual stuff, not the geography. And I've whatnot. never, I actually pretty much in the last three years, grade ten, eleven, and twelve, I never did science. Just because I didn't like doing science, I thought it was boring. So I made up a bullshit excuse saying that I was Christian. <laughs> I think you'd actually would have loved my my physics teacher. He was great. He'd actually find practical ways to go over lessons, like for centrifugal force, transipital, whichever one it is. That's a he 
he literally made a like a merry-go-round thing out of a bunch of boards, clamps, and a swivel seat, and had us sit on it and do experiments with that. It was how great. People, how many people puked? How many people what? Uh, no one. It, it, oh, it, we kept it spinning very slow because it was in literally in the classroom. Yeah. Uh, I, I actually in high school took chemistry. Uh, it was uh, college that I took physics. Um, yeah, physics was required think, senior year for I, us. I like in, in senior year, uh, sorry, our requirement in school was either a, a chemistry class, a physics class, or a biology class for a science requirement. We just had science. <laughs> Uh, just like a general science class where you cover yeah, something different every couple weeks. Yeah, all science. Same for you, Rick, or do, do you have a different school? Uh, we went to the same no, school. We went to high school. school. Yeah, uh, uh, but you should have! Mr. Hardy was awesome! Uh, anyway. I, I, I wasn't sure. Like, you know, I didn't know if you went to the same school or not. I just knew you lived in the it same area right now. It was boring in science class. Half the time it was just talking about fucking the, uh, he was just going off the whiteboard and books and shit. Not really much practical shit. And when it was practical, the only practical that I actually enjoyed was dissecting a frog. Ugh. I hate that sort of thing. <laughs> I never wanted to go near biology class. I, liked, I loved it. I, I liked chemistry and physics better. Things either explode or burn, or you learn to make things that can break. Anyway, back to the back to the story. <laughs> so, so right now okay. it's the dark out, middle of the night. You've started following a path. Uh, everything looks clear around you, as far as just as far as you can see. Uh, Jason keeps muttering something about really wanting to get some to get some sleep and saying we should set up a, a campsite. You should have slept on the couch. If, uh, if there's like any kind of clear space, when I say and when I say clear, I mean like where the grass isn't two or three feet tall, where it's like low enough we can kind of tamp uh, it down. It's not, and it's not roll even up. close to that that height. It's it's okay. less than a feet tall. It's less than a foot tall. It's as I said, okay. very. Want to make sure because they you also mentioned us walking through farmland a couple times. Want to make sure that it didn't change while we were walking. Well, I'm, I'm saying is you you you're you're kind of like near to the farmland. The farmland is off to the north, uh, and supposedly to the east. But at the moment, um, you're basically there's three paths that you could have chosen. You chose one of one of them to go to, to start following. All right. So but camping in the open. But... If we set watches throughout, we should be fine. Well, I guess we have no choice other than to do that. I'll take the first watch. Me and Jason will take the second. <laughs> Jason is like, no, I'm not taking the second. I am going to sleep, and I'm going to rest my mind so that my spells will be okay. I'll take second. Fine, we'll, take, we'll take the last watch. Give me whatever <laughs> I mean, I'll take whatever or watch. let Jason do what he needs to do yeah, instead of pressuring him to do something he doesn't want. I'll I'll take the third watch. Can you? Okay, I'll, I'll go with Nori. Sure. No, I, no, no, no. You 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 <laughs> said you would take the last watch. That's already set in stone. You're taking the last watch. <laughs> you know what, Cat? How about you take first watch with me? Who? I mean, who sees the worst? And Keen can take can take a watch for them because he can see in the dark pretty good. I mean, I, I can see in the dark. If we have somebody who and can't see the dark too. at all, then you know, Jason. Jason can't We're see in the dark vision. at all. Uh, Jason. I can't see in the dark currently. I have to wait for my next level up at a character. <laughs> I have to have a torch, kind of stand away from the group a little bit. So I can... don't think I have dark vision. You don't. Your total don't have dark vision. I have we, can, we can do a campfire and keep it going too, but that true. Right Campfires might draw in <laughs> intelligent enemies, but they drive away everything else. I, have dark I mean, we might as well have a camp. Like, don't, don't like campfires. We, 
We might as well have a campfire. I mean, if we run into intelligent enemies, it's kind of helpful. We'll we'll be able to realize if we're on the right track or not. Right. Well, I will forward for some materials to get a fire started to last us the night. Do if I you guys want to want to get camp set out. All right. You quickly uh, find um, some very some various reeds and other things that look like they'd be good for burning. Uh, and even a couple twigs off of bushes, all sorts of th little things like that. Um, you don't find any trees. It's, it's, you don't seem to be in a tree area, but there are bushes. And so you bring those yeah. back, along with what appear to be edible berries. Huh. Well, good. I, yeah, a little bit of food if you need it. Better than your hard tack, I'm sure. Uh, I'd like to take a look at the berries and see if I know if they're okay to eat. Nature check. Was it just me or did he cut out? You see that he has discovered blueberries. You're I good. People cutting out. Hello. I can hear you. Hello. I apologize. My bite of pie was significantly larger than I thought. What kind of pie? Hello. Yeah, we we hear you. We, we hear you, Jesse. Jesse. What kind of it pie? It might be your end. Uh, chocolate cream pie. Okay. I thought it'd be fair. I don't think Jesse can hear us. It, it was a fruit pie because I just gave you blueberries. Was I cutting out for anyone else, or is no. it just for Jesse? It's just Jesse. Damn. Welcome back. Can you hear us, Jesse? Dead. Aww. Yeah, no response is not good. Womp womp. God damn it, Jesse. Oh no. Poor Jesse. Can you hear us now, Jesse? Speak, Jesse, speak. Hello. If Jesse's we heard it. We Jesse, heard can you hear us? Very robotic. Oh. You sound fine. That's not good. Ironic. No in another server, Jesse. Why is my internet being trash? I don't know. Are we still robotic for you, Jesse? Oh, uh, it's a little bit better, like I can make out what you guys are saying, but it's very robotic still. I'm just gonna uh, quit Discord and then reboot it, I think. Okay. Alright. Like I said earlier, I am doing a bit of cleaning. I need to take my heads over real quick because I'm getting some stuff in like the storage thingy under my couch. And it is horribly awkward to get in there, especially if I have a wire attached to my head. So I won't be talking for a minute. Okay. 
Who's on first watch? What was that? Anyone? Who's on first? Who's who's the got first watch? It was gonna be me. I'll roll that roll real quick. Damn. All right. Who's got second watch? That's me. Do I need to roll perception, or what am I doing? Roll a perception check for me, please. Okay. Fuck. Yeah, you don't see anything either. Who's third watch? Me. And all is well. And fourth watch. That might have been Jesse, but I'll do it with my horrible, horrible perception. Yeah, but nothing comes to eat you, so you're safe. For now. <laughs> All right. So the sun begins to shine to shine above you, and uh, you guys all start waking up. You hear. Um, Jason groan a bit as he climbs out of his bedroll. Kind of rubs his eyes. Oh, I'm still with you guys. Alright. I'll oh, stop complaining. What, do you think we were some kind of bad dream? <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking at this point. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't have anything against you guys indi uh, individually. I'm just wondering why you're dragging me along is all. Honestly, I don't know. It's all good. In the world was that noise? I just heard a beeping noise. Is Jesse trying to talk? Who? Was it? His thing was lit up when it. It could have also been me. I I took off my headset, but I had it running through my speaker just so I could hear you guys. And I unmuted to try to talk, but my mic didn't light up. Maybe the beep beep beep, beep was just uh, letting you guys know that I unmuted. Buzz buzz like a interference, but ah, uh, and I just heard it from um, I just heard it from Jesse a second ago. It lined up with when his thing lit up. Oh, Jess is going to restart. Alright. I guess we can give him a few minutes until he comes back. If anyone needs to go to the bathroom, get a drink, all that stuff. You just take a quick Yeah, I'm going to step away for a second.
I'm back. Jesse, can you hear us? Oh shit, I am. I just instantly came back. Uh. Yay, Jesse's back. Yeah, I think I can hear you guys now. Woo! Woo! Oh no. What? Why is the ping still super high? Nah, Jesse. 350 uh, is what I am at too. Probably because you're then in Australia. Why is everybody still States? robotic? Oh, is everybody still robotic? Oh, yeah, it kind of is. Have you tried the, the trick of logging into somebody else's server and then logging back into this one? Their voice channel? Uh, beg your pardon? Uh, log into a voice channel of a different server and then come back to log into this one. Sometimes fixes the problem. Okay. Hello. Testing. Testing, testing. Yeah, that sounds better. Right then. Awesome. I'm gonna mute myself. <laughs> because I got food. Back, yay! Yay! And Jesse's Jesse's thing is doing better now too. He no longer thinks we sound like robots. I guess we're just waiting for, uh, for Cog, for, for, um, the other two. I'm here. Hey, welcome back. You guys ready to continue? Yes, ma'am. Alrighty then. Yep. So, guys. Start waking up. The sun is above you in the sky. Well, not above you in the sky. The sun is peeking up over the horizon. Uh, it's getting light out. You hear the occasional bird c calling in the distance. It goes on its morning hunt. What would you guys like to do? Keep heading east. Mm hmm. With a I slight mean, southern bearing. I mean, how far can we see? Do we see anything? Like, now that it's light? Just a f rolling, for the most part, just rolling field, well, low grass fields, an occasional bu dotted with bushes all over the, split, the landscape. Uh, you we even see, like, like, the forest in the distance, or is it no, too far away too still? too far away still. Uh, if you would like to roll a perception check, I can give you some more information. Perceiving. So, uh, let's see. From this distance, given certain things, uh, you do see the some of the birds that are flying around seem to be heading from the southeast of this position, basically this square or further down. Uh, which is they look like they're panicky fly. No, they they look like they're they're coming out. And hunting, um, basically, uh, what do you want to say? Hawks uh, flying in the sky, searching for uh, for field mice and rabbits. Seemingly coming from the southeast. The rest of the things you mostly see uh, just fields, fields and more fields, bushes here and there with various berries on them, but no trees. Uh, that star the... thing, is that a camp marker? Yeah, that's that's your current positional marker. Okay. I mean, I guess we keep heading east-ish? I think that this yellow X is where that farmer guy said that they came from. When we... Yeah. Yeah, that's the, the direction of the... Uh... Of the farm that you were told about, the one that was attacked a while a while ago. Yep. So 
the path, right, let... the, the path you're currently following is heading directly to the east. That's the one you would wish to follow. All right, let's get going. If it leads into the forest, we can really get moving. So, east, southeast, south, any other direction? Which, which I mean, I guess east, because that's where the farmer yeah. said, and... Yeah. Yeah, just keep I'm going not, east I mean, for that's, now. That's my idea. I don't know what the rest of the party thinks. I, mean, I I'm... agree. I'm on. I'm so, on board. So who who's keeping a lookout as you guys walk? Uh Got the highest perception. I'll keep a lookout. All right. All right I mean, I've been rolling pretty good on my perception, but all right. Oh, we can it. both keep a lookout, but I'll contribute. I think Keen has his little hood up and his sunglasses on because he's not a daytime guy. Yeah. Yeah, he's a cobalt. Makes sense for him because if he didn't, didn't have the sunglasses, he'd have to roll a disadvantage uh, in daytime. But, yeah. So, Kel, you can just keep an eye out and you don't see anything suspicious out in this direction. However, as you begin to head east, uh, you do notice a bit more, um, what looks to be, uh, cultivated land, uh, you don't see too much of a fence line, it's like, you see what, uh, maybe at one point was a fence line, but it's starting to degrade, nobody's, uh, come and fixed it up, uh, and what looks like a, uh, what was probably once a wheat field that has, uh, what is it, gone to seed, is that the correct term? One that basically... Where it has, it is gone like where it's been there so long, it naturally seeds itself. Yeah, because nobody's come along and harvested it. Basically, it looks abandoned or like something happened, and nobody has come back yeah. to do anything. So it's growing wild and free instead of the pretty little rose. Well, I think we're getting close to the farm that that one pointed us to. Be on guard. You do find what was probably once a trail, but has now been, you know, it's one of those things that if it was walked every single day, it would be a trail to outsiders, but it doesn't look like it's been walked in a while. Like, you know, possibly weeks at this point. Uh, which would explain the uh, the growing feel, the, the, the growing thing. And if you wish to stealth, go for it. Same. <laughs> Let's see those stealth rolls. Roll a one. Yay! Aww. <laughs> Yay, I'm more stealthy than Kel. Yeah. Oh, God. I rolled like shit. My, my bonuses are nothing. So, so the kobold and the debaxi both kind of fade in, in, into the uh, the wheat, and you don't even notice them anymore. But uh, the turtle, of course, is just kind of tripping over her own feet. Uh, Kel, uh, just kind of, you know, he's shuffling loud enough to... that. Everyone can hear him. Uh, and, and Nori, it just looks like he's just walking. <laughs> you guys continue along your path. Oh, yeah. I never remember to sneak for Jason. I sometimes forget forgetting I've got an NPC in this game. Jason. Does he want to sneak, though? <laughs> Jason will go for sneaky. Darn it, I thought I'd fix that before the start of the game. Oh well. Oh, Watch him roll a 30. Uh, Jason, Jason is like barely, he's, he's tripping over himself just like uh, Tallulah. Plunking into each other as they walk. Yeah, well, he, he has an excuse. He's got a book in his hand. He's not the athletic type. No. I have an excuse. I'm a giant 600 pound turtle. Or 400 pound. <laughs> I can't see in the dark. She also probably sounds anyway. like a Morocco with all the cabbages rolling around in there. Are you probably. calling yourself fat? Yeah. <laughs> no, she's perfectly balanced for her shell size. Again, I still they subscribe to the theory that she's some. 
What were you saying, Chris? No, nothing. I was just mumbling. Yeah. I, I still personally subscribe to the theory that Tallulah, when she's walking or run, or especially when she's running, sounds like a base maraca filled with um, filled with filled with all those cabbages. Give me perception checks, people. Perception. I am perceiving. Man, my rolls are not great today. Two good ones, and the rest are just meh. Alright. So, nothing, of course, would see, uh, Keen, who is peering through the uh, the grass carefully, and nothing sees uh, Fang because she's also very stealthy. Uh, Nori and Keen, um, as the others are like you know walking along in the center of the of what was once a path and being very noisy, including yourself. You you the both of you look around. Um, Keen, from your perspective, you see. A form half hidden in the uh, in, in the stalks of wheat. Uh, nor you look in another direction and you see another figure, um, kind of only uh, only visible because they seem to be green in color. Uh, they're skin, skin wise. Uh, they're wearing uh, more of uh, brownish leather, which is a little bit more blending in with the wheat. But the the green skin kind of makes them stand out a bit in this wheat field. As they're crouched, they're crouched into the in, into the wheat, looking like they're ready to um, attack your your little group here, laying in wait. Keen's for you. gonna sneak, try to sneak closer to it, like like flank it, kind of. As you get closer, Keen, you can tell that it's definitely an orc. <laughs> I almost want to be like, "Hey, what you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey. Yes, walk up to it. What? Dude. Keen just like taps it on the shoulder. Hey, what you doing? Actually, Probably yeah. scare the shit out of the orc. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna that. do it. Yeah, sure. Why not? Do it for the vine. Okay. The, the orc looks startled and uh, turns her head to, to notice the kobold next to her. And her eyes just kind of go wide at this point. It's like, where did you come from? It's like part orcish that you're hearing, but also little bits of words of common strung into. Uh, do you speak any orcish? Like dragon and common. Yeah, I thought so. So it's like, uh, come from. I gotta shaking. turn your mic, turn your mic up because you're really sorry. Low, yeah. I think I I think I pushed the microphone away. But you hear basically uh, a question of where'd you come from, but with some more words thrown in, in Orcish. He just like points. He's like over there. <laughs> god damn it! And, and, oh my and, god! And you hear sounds of shifting in in, in the uh, in the field, and you suddenly find yourselves that you are surrounded by. Works. Well, Tallulah's drawn a great sword. Keen just sold us out. Well, he didn't really point at the party. He just like pointed in a general direction and said, "Over there." But you know, Keen, that's so. no you know, more snacks. Kel, Nori, and Tallulah aren't hidden in the slightest. Yeah, <laughs> we're just standing there now. We're like, oh, God damn it! Uh, by the way, it looks like you guys haven't healed yourself since your last battle. You, you have had a, a long rest. We slept. So. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so. so you shouldn't still be oh, uh, yeah. injured. Oh, oops, yep. Yeah. Oh, oops, oops. Um, so ah! Keen is off in one direction. Bang is To be honest, Keen oh. wasn't going to kill anybody because he doesn't know if they're, uh, like, refugees hiding or if they're ambushing the party. So he wasn't yeah. going to, like, backstab. He might. The, the and here we fucking are. Keen. God damn it, Keen. They're like thumping around all over the place. I'm a turtle. Be lucky I'm moving this fast. 
one or But Tallulah just three. like has her great sword on her shoulder. She's like, fuck. Alright. They're now like standing up in the, in, in the wheat, making themselves a lot more visible. Uh, hey, Chris. Yeah? Do I see all of this happening? Yeah, well, let me let me put the orcs uh, up on the field first before like, any more do questions. Do we have civilized orcs back where we're from? Where yeah, they yeah, they're, they're still so, like that's that's why he wouldn't like really think too much about tapping it on the shoulder. Yeah, yeah. there's <laughs> lots of civilized races races back where you're from, but you haven't seen any. You've seen a couple some ha occasional half orc here in uh, in Hellspring, but you haven't seen uh, any full blooded orcs since you got into Hellspring. Guys, really random. Uh. Kel and I went and got dinner, and we decided to get- we each got a dessert because we thought it was a slice of pie. No, it's a whole miniature pie. It's an entire six inch diameter pie. Fun. Delicious. It's so good. No, it's just a good term. Wow. Um, even though that I'm eating crackers at the moment. Yeah, we had a uh, made-to-order chicken fried steak. I had some random stuff I found in my kitchen. Bits of bread and cheese. My dad ate seven pieces of fish. And some hush puppies. Uh-huh. And some coleslaw. So, what, so, so Keen basically, all the, or, all the orcs are now standing up from their positions. Um, two of them step onto what you're making a lot. You guys are making a lot of noise back there, by the way. Thanks. Um, an ambush now, right? <laughs> well, there, there's no there's no ambush because you've kind of released that, so that's a good thing. Uh, but also because you and uh, you and and Nori both saw them, uh, so preventing any such ambush. But two of them step out into the path and just kind of. Uh, why am I still lagging? Uh, and point, uh, point a spear or a javelin rather, out at your group. This land has been claimed by our tribe. What are you doing here? Uh, don't mind us. We're just trying to. Master. Well, yes, but we're <laughs> trying to deal with. We're we're on a mission to deal with um, necromancers. Uh, Enola, can, can you think you can mute yourself, please? Oh, sorry. I Lots of background a little noise. Thumbs. It's distracting me. Sorry, sorry, her mic is still super fucking sensitive and we're trying to dial it in uh, so it doesn't I, pick I, up I literally know. everything. It's that right now my brain is like, I can't deal with distractions at all. Oh. No? So are you okay? Oh, yeah. No, I, yeah, I was talking, but it wasn't transmitting, so I left and came back. Okay. Um, no, Keen, Keen's gonna say, "You guys seen any skeletons?" Uh, Cogsworth, you as well, <laughs> please. Thank you. Uh, so the the orcs just kind of look look over at the between the the main group and like you know the one orc that's standing next to Keen can see him. The other orcs really can't because Keen is so short, and the wheat because it's um. You know, is large enough to, to hide a group of orcs, uh, is quite tall and is way over his head. Uh, like the the one orc that's standing next to him, she kind of looks down at him. The skeletons were the ones that skeletons ran farmers out, and she says other words in in orcish uh, that are harder to translate. But she's like saying it part orcish, part common. Is it loud enough for me to hear? Because I happen to speak orc. Yeah. Uh, so you're basically hearing the uh, the woman say that the uh, the skeletons were the ones that uh, ran the farmers out of the uh, the farmhouse, like burned them out. It seems. We're here to figure out what's going on. Sorry, I reply in orcish. We're here to figure out what's going on and to take care of the ones bringing these skeletons up. We want the people to be safe. And the two the two orcs up front just like look at each other and one of them just starts laughing. 
Why would we want that? The, the skeletons are not bothering us. Uh, uh, keep, refresh my memory, Kel. Are you human or half-elf? I am human. Human. They, they do not bother us, human. They have been driving out the farmers in this area, which have been encroaching on our lands for, for, for ages. Have you brought this up to the officials? The but ones that rule this country? They are not our people. They put laws on, on, on the lands that do not include us. Then we have lived here longer than they have. You may not know, but times are changing. We genuinely wish the best for everyone, including yourselves. Well, we, not, we don't care to stop things that are for, forcing those that would t sully the land with their presence out of the area. We're not going to turn on you eventually. Uh, roll persuasion check, Keen. murmuring from the, from the various orcs and the, the orcs... hey Grizz you got really quiet for me sorry um, I pulled my microphone back so I can drink water uh, the the orcs um, look, you're murmuring from the orcs again and the the orc that seems to be in charge um, kind of points in the direction uh, where Keen's voice is coming from and says we cannot see you come out here I'm gonna say he climbs up on the lady orc's shoulders, but he's not going to. Because <laughs> I don't think she'd like that. So or just he... she just sticks her arms up and say, Can you lift me? <laughs> up! <laughs> uh, he he kind of like saunders to the edge of the wheat, I guess, wherever that would be, like here. So we just see a cobalt head sticking up halfway, sticking out halfway up the wheat. And then he comes out into the into the little path, and the orc kind of like looks down towards Keen. Interesting. The small one is the one that that speaks words that. Sorry, brain. Brain is losing track of conversation. The small one speaks words that resonate with truth. You say you believe that they will turn on us. It doesn't look like I'm transmitting. Am I transmitting? You are now. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, uh, so Keen says, well, for what we know, it's the separatists doing this and they want the country for themselves. Do you think they're going to share? <laughs> uh, it's separatists. <laughs> The, the orc kind of shakes his head. Why would the separatists be forcing out their own their own farmers? We have heard of, of of them. They do not care much for us either. They hate the Minotaur King, and they view anyone that supports him as an enemy, including the people. I would also like to point well, out that they have said. Okay. Kind of like continue to look at you and wait for you to continue on. I'm sure it doesn't matter as you look like you're capable of defending yourselves, but they've said some very, very hostile things towards those of us that aren't human. They seem to view anything that's not themselves as an enemy. So I definitely stay on guard. We were here before the humans, before the Minotaurs. These were our lands. As it always has been. And they wish to limit our range by imposing such borders. I'm sure, like yourself, they simply want a place where they can live in peace. I'm sad to hear that it's affected you negatively, though. 
May I ask your name or what you'd like to be called? The, the orc just kind of stares at you and kind of like looks back at Keen. Small one, are you in charge of this rabble? And it's like, uh, <laughs> not really, but. Tomila's just chuckling, like. Lori's trying to hold back a chuckle. <laughs> uh, no. Little boss. I point to Nori. He's in charge. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna, like, step a little behind Nori. Like, go ahead. Go in. Talk to them. I think Keen has this, though. Like, what? <laughs> uh, I mean... Tulu reaches down her hand. Uh, Keen, would you like a, 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 a larger pedestal? <laughs> Do you want me to pick you up, Keen? Sure, I guess. I'm gonna pick him up and just, like, Rafiki him. <laughs> You're going to what? <laughs> Lift him under under his arms and hold him kind of like Simba from the very beginning of ah, Lion okay. King where you're hanging you their limp. Like, yes, I'm going now? to Rafiki him. Ah, I wasn't sure what you, what you were saying. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, Keen, you're being held up by your armpits. Like I hold my cat sometimes. Well, the one that can't, that, that that's light enough to be held that way. The other one cannot be held that way. Do you assume the cat sometimes? I sometimes g g gaze, at, gaze at him and lift him up, yeah. I do that all the time with my cat. He seems to like it. Sometimes sometimes when my cat's being extra annoying, aka when I'm trying to do the dishes or and then she wants lovey-dovey feelings, I usually grab a couple of slip buds, pick her up, and do the whole Simba thing across her head. <laughs> You're muted, dear. Anyway. The Simba thing where you'll uh, like rub your thumb across her forehead? Yep, but with bubbles. <laughs> Ooh. She has to, must hate that. Uh, for some reason, she actually doesn't mind it. <laughs> she likes it. She's she getting keeps, love infection. If she keeps doing it while he's in there, he's like, oh, good, he's going to do this if, if I rub against him now. <laughs> I, I feel technology. like that's what his mindset is sometimes. Like I think my cat just likes me to, to, to yell his name by climbing up and trying to climb up the TV. <laughs> Yay, I'm getting attention. <laughs> and I give him lots of attention. He just gets off my lap and goes and tries to climb up over the TV. But anyway. <laughs> so, so, so Keen, you're, you're, being lifted up, you're being lifted up that way. I don't know if he's sure what else to say to them other than like, you know, you let us pass and we'll take care of them and then like, I don't think they're going to let you stay either. And because you're being held by Tallulah, you get uh, advantage on your persuasion roll. It's like, he, he basically yes. says once, once they, uh, <laughs> once they get, get what they want, they're going to move their own people in here. Uh, please be prepared. Please be better than not. <laughs> so the the orc chief hey. or leader or whatever he is, kind of folds his arms, uh, put you know puts his spear onto uh, onto his back. The the others only sl slightly relax their stances. It's like they're no longer looking like you know if like they're about to launch an attack. They look like if you guys move, maybe they can, they'll they'll be able to still defend themselves. But besides that, they don't look like they are going to launch the attack in one second. Uh, sort of sort of stance. Uh, they're just kind of, um... So he, he's, like, you know, got his arms folded now, and he's, like, tilts his head back a bit, and kind of, like, stares at, uh... at Keen. This, this way is not... is not where the skeletons came from. They came from south of here, into the woods. Okay, well, if you let us pass, we'll just go take care of them, and then we'll leave back the way we came. We won't disturb anything else. 
then go. What you want to do is go south of here, towards the woods. You're not heading into the woods. You're heading to, to where, where where we have claimed. Okay, so we go south. He, he King kind of looks at the look looks at Nori and and points south. He looks over. Yeah, we'll that. go south then. He looks over towards that orc woman that uh, you uh, disturbed over at uh, before and, sa and, and yells, Hilga, you will be going with them. And the orc woman kind of steps out from the uh, fr from the field of, uh, of wheat and just kind of stares at the group of you holding her, um, her, her axe. Uh, as you command. And she says that in orcish. Uh, Another tag along. That's a bit. And then Jason, <laughs> Yay, Jason Fred. Po pokes at Nori and, sa and whispers at him, I did not ask to come with you. I mean, Fangtail just popped out of, out of Ooh, hiding, by the way. Can we trade Jason for the, like, you know, as a big <laughs> and be like, here, you have him and we'll take your lady. No! And then we'll just get I like that idea. Heen, I like that idea. Remember, I'm not into ladies. Some orcish culture. Wait, are you are you supposed to say that in character? <laughs> uh, Who? maybe the, the orc chief oh, no. looks over at this and goes, "Hmm, I think I like that idea." Lisa's so like, "Uh, no, no." Yeah, I think well, I like that idea too. Sure, it's that we well, that we don't cause any trouble. And Jason's like, these people abducted me? I did not ask to come with them? <clears throat> and the orc, the orc just kind of grins toothily and says, that means that if you are their prisoner, that you will be my prisoner. Oh, God. Yeah, so we trade. Well, looks like I'm back to Nori. <laughs> oh, wait. Hang on. Wait, 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 <laughs> no, he's like, Just can we just be on the basin, please? Hmm. I'm having second thoughts about this decision now. <laughs> sort of forgot that he was my blockage. So, so, so a fearsome, uh, hey, a fearsome orc wo woman with uh, with red hair and very green skin it comes out, just like you know. Her a battle axe in one hand and just kind of grins at you with her tusks. Hey, so what shall we call you? Hilda. Hilda. Oh my god. Of course it's Hilda. That's out of character, by the way, not in character. <laughs> Why have but like, Hilga? No, Hilga's like such a, what's the word, basic name for an orc? Like, I'm pretty sure that I've seen, like, two other orcs named Hilga in movies or something like that. I, I, uh, and I remember one of them being... Names. Viking name more than an orc name, but I don't know if I... Uh... When I think Hilga... I don't I know, I've Hilga. just... I've, I've seen a couple of movies where it just kind of... The Hilga was a annoying character out of the TV show or some shit. So Jason is quite perturbed that you guys, tr tr you know, you forced him to come along and then you threw, basically threw him out at, to an orc tribe. And I mean, at least he's free now. <laughs> Quotation marks. <laughs> he's free from us, at least. Congratulations, your party has, uh, has traded a wizard for a barbarian. Well, it was a wealth, worthwhile trade. <laughs> Does it look like that the barbarian knows her stuff? Yes. If that makes sense. So she means so she's a warrior. <laughs> what? So and it she... means. Does right. that mean that she's a higher level than us, though? She might be. Or. Oh. Not to be racist, but she's an orc. I mean, they make really good barbarians. Mm -hmm. I know, oh. I know. I, I'm <laughs> just saying. But she looks experienced. She doesn't look like a she doesn't look like a greenie like our cat person here. Yeah, and she's not gonna complain constantly like the guy we traded. Or constantly flirt with the rest of our party and every NPC we meet that's male. Yeah. Hey, so Storm Talk, how you doing, boy? Uh... <laughs> Worse now that you started talking to me. <laughs> oh. 
Anyway, we should be we should get going. Welcome to the group, Hilga. Also, Jesse, I hope you know that was com that was completely in character and snarky. That's yeah, I know, I know, I know. My character's an annoying piece of shit. I I get it. <laughs> Keen is gonna thank the orc chief or whoever, whatever he is, the, for pointing us in the right direction. And, the, the, the... and not murdering us. And you, you just seem to have gained a little bit of respect, and you know you you have no idea what they're gonna do to Jason, but it seems like at least he's going to be their guest for oh, now. Hey. Oh, I don't care what they do with him. Come back. Kill him. We'll have a nice orc wife. They, they can kill him for all I care. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Jason's not part. Of, not J keeping Jason alive is not part of my job. Keeping him with us is also not part of our job. You guys kind of forced him to come oh, because he, he had he, he had knowledge of things. You know, he was a... Yeah, now we don't have that knowledge. Thanks, guys. And, and one less necromancer to deal with. <laughs> he said that it wasn't a necromancer. necromancer. He was acting shady when... The gods... No, he wasn't. When the gods back up before we got to midpoint... He's got he was acting still touch in his spell book. <laughs> he was <laughs> acting shady anything. when the gods were mm. there to see if we had a mage with us. Remember that yeah, part he, all the way back he, at that point? He, he ended up making his book disappear at a moment. I classified that as shady. I genuinely did never, did, I did not hear that. If because, I, oh, yeah, I no, that was because, because this is the first time you're thing. hearing about this. Yeah, this, this, right, this is right, more of a thing that was undercover no, the, because the I thing, didn't want... <laughs> the thing regarding... I, the I didn't want... Just, oh, fuck. It. I would definitely would have been more suspicious of him had I known that part. I apologize. Something must have pulled me away from uh, from the voice chat for, for a no, moment. No, 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 because it wasn't any... It was like Nori and the cat... Cap yeah. Yeah, I, I gave that. Yeah. I, I gave that to. Him. It was a whisper. I gave that to him in secret. Okay, so it wasn't disclosed. Correct. No, no, it was only really they disclosed to Nori. The, the thing we, we about it want, is that we, we didn't want the yeah, we didn't want like, we suspicions people. of the guy and let him know that we knew. Yeah, you guys yeah. Just, uh, kept him from getting arrested, basically. Because who knows what that Jason could do if we let out his secret? You know. Hmm. Someone also could have tried to read his spell book when he slept. I mean, that was one of my plans. It's just whether or not we can read it. Well, he's stuck with the orcs until we come back. Hopefully. Usually I steal things when I lay with things, so... That hasn't really happened with Jason yet. <laughs> and this That's is why bad. I despise you. Oh, you love me, Rick. <laughs> Who's this Rick? I, I was talking out of character, by the way. <laughs> God damn it. I know. <laughs> Who's this I know. Rick? Oh. Anyway, towards oh, the... Oh, yeah, guys. Wait, hold up, hold up. Did you know that it was Rick's birthday, like, two days ago? Oh, happy belated birthday, Rick. Yeah, uh, yeah. You don't like your birthday? <laughs> Eh, it's just not something I really care about. Okay. You should it's just play, we were playing video games, bro. We were playing video Robot. games. And all you could hear was her... I'm is, sorry, is, am I really is, still robotic? Is Jesse a robot to anyone yeah. else, or is that just yeah. me? Yeah. Oh no, no, you guys are robotic! Okay. You jinxed it! It's, diff it's, it's robotic Best to thing, me, too. Please stop shouting. Testing. Hello? Bye at the moment. I Are can hear Grizz. Okay, now, and I can, now I can hear Jesse. Jesse, stop robbing. Yeah, Jesse, stop robbing. I'm not robbing. Oh, okay, maybe it's because I had it in a weird spot. I'll just Everybody was robbing for a minute, so. There we go. So, cool. you guys have now arrived at, as night falls uh, to the edge of the, of the forest. Uh, the orc woman uh, begins to uh, look around for a place to start ca to, to set up camp just inside the limits. She knows 
terrain, so let her, uh... <clears throat> She quickly comes back, not only with uh, wood, but with a small sack and uh, two dead rabbits over her arm. And she quickly starts setting up uh, the, the fire and starts skinning the rabbits while setting the sack down and exposing a few p bits of fruit and a few um, uh, what would be considered close to the surface tubers. like. Uh, like, not things that you would dig too deep for, but things that you would see, like, the, the top of and immediately, like, you know, push your hand down and, like, pull up the bulb sort of tuber. It's like, it's like carrot, carrot and potato kind of deal. Yeah, yeah. And she has them spread out as she uh, starts to skin and then gut the uh, the rabbit corpses. Mm, delicious. Keen is gonna watch, fascinated, cause like you know, all his meat comes in a package, pre pre skin. And... <laughs> oh, you're resourceful. I am a hunter. Yeah. She, she says. Look yeah. You, a warrior. You, you got stronger hands than the other guy as well. But human. Yeah. AKA trying to flirt with the new person. Oh my god. I thought you went into girls, god damn it. I mean, hey, it could be beneficial. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> Think this of it as a fight. Like... fish. Slips the, uh, the tubers down into the. Uh, still... Let's sit on that, Lyra. Uh, she sets the, uh, the tubers down into the fire. Uh, and s puts the uh, the rabbit corpses on a spit and starts uh, tr tr turning them slowly. When did you learn how to cook like that? I have always known how to cook like this. Since when? Are you not sufficient? And she kind of glares at uh, at the tabaxi. Can you not hunt? Not really. I mean, I can hunt, but I don't usually do it. Then you I, I've done it like once or twice. But... Oh. <laughs> kind of just curls up to Nori. Call uh, me useless. No touchy. <laughs> I mean, know? well, you're... I mean, none of them saw me while I was at the camp, so... I'm useful, right? Um... Sure. To the walk But you're robotting. Anola, you're robotting. What it was. Does Discord have an issues at the moment? It might. Yeah, I think so. Everyone's from oh, Wow, everyone's from Robotic. Everyone's from Robotic. Oh, no. Let me oh, no. Test. 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 Okay, you're sounding better now. Test. Oh, yeah, but everybody else is... No justice, sorry, no robot. No justice, Oh, Discord! Oh. I mean, it's close to the time. I'm starting to think that this is uh, going to be a good time to, to end it with you guys just getting into the forest at this point. With all the uh, technical difficulties we're having. Sadly. Yeah. Possibly. Oh, now you're sounding better again. I don't even know. Anola, do you want do you want to try? Or Tallulah, sorry. Test. Okay, you're sounding better. But what about Jesse? Who are you walking over to and who are you talking to? I was gonna walk over to Fangtown and say, "Bless your heart, honey. You are useful." <laughs> <laughs> don't lie to her. 
sometimes <laughs> lying makes her makes people grow a little confidence. Not that she means any, but yeah, look, I'm trying to be nice, okay? She already has enough confidence to flirt with literally everyone. Well, she hasn't flirted with me, and if she does, I'll punch her in the throat. That's probably why she hasn't flirted with you. No. See, you no, just you're saying that you take her breath away. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> Kel, shut the hell up. I look at Nori. Can I hit him? Yes. Okay. Uh, there's a game. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hitting in real life is saying it. Gotcha. <laughs> 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 I got him. I hit him. <laughs> Thank you. I assume <laughs> you spit on me. I don't know you spit all over me. Oh no. You guys okay? Oh, no. Asshole. Wow. He scared the shit out of me. Dante feels. Oh. <sighs> I love you, asshole. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> I was just thinking, so you were saying? Thinking about the nights when we have everybody. That, at some point, I'm gonna throw one shot where everybody who commits the, pun, the who gets in on the pun war is going to be there and meet each other for the first time, and the world will impl the, the game will implode due to punage, or is it punage? I forget. Anyway, so so Helga is working on making you guys dinner. Uh, Tulula is saying oh. something vaguely nice to uh, Fangtail. What are the rest of you doing? Oh, and Fangtail is crying. Uh, what are the rest of you guys doing? Kane's watching the orc lady cook. Yeah. Nori's just observing the orc lady. The or, the so is that just the general consensus? The orc lady looks over <laughs> at Keen and says, What great merit win did you to make liter? Great, she still thinks he's the leader. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm really good at getting snacks. Are you just face palming now? I do not know the word. Snacks? She Taste provides food. food. That you eat with food. Ah. Snacks are ah. uh, sure. just food. <laughs> you are very small. You cannot carry much, but baby surprise things. She kind of like looks you over. Perhaps cook? I'm really good at fitting up inside of things that others can't. He thinks about this for a moment and nods again. Um, Tolula just face palms. <laughs> Sometimes easy way to get to, to get certain meats that are harder to carve out of big animal. <laughs> like that, I guess. <laughs> well. <laughs> Nori can't stop laughing now. That was funny. <laughs> oh my god. She, she pulls out some small, delicate or organs that are, that are lightly cooked from inside the rabbits uh, and uh, presents them on a small cloth to Keen. He'd eat them, because he... I mean, he ate rats growing up, so... Yeah, and th this is de delicately uh, roasted, um, only lightly roasted at that, uh, um, rabbit uh, liver. Mm -hmm. 
Knowing what liver tastes like? Um... But given that Keen's a foodie, isn't he? Yeah, he would probably like it. Yeah. I so... mean, it's it's like, what what, what is it? Uh, free range rabbit, like, yeah. uh, all those, like, bu uh, hipster buzzwords. Yes, exactly. Free, Organic free, free range free... rabbit. <laughs> Little oh. gamey. Yes. With a slight hint of berry. <clears throat> Tina's gonna rummage around in his pack for a minute and pull out a candy bar and offer it to her. She, she, he's she's, like, I was saving this for later. She, she stares at it as she turns the rabbits again. What's what is that? Candy. <laughs> kind of stares at it. Is it still in its package? Yeah, it's like right. He, he, it's in the wrapper, but he might like if she doesn't take it right away, he might peel open the wrapper and they like. The inside's good. <laughs> is, is that skin inedible? Or she wouldn't use the term inedible. She'd use some other lower word that I cannot think of right now. <laughs> you know, I think inedible would probably be a bit much for somebody who doesn't speak common very yeah. much. But I can't you think just of tell the right her word. Yeah. Be used Can the skin yeah. not be eaten? Something like or, that. Like no eat skin or something? Yeah, something yeah. like that. You'd be like, nah, it's just to keep it safe. And she will break off a piece and take a bite. What kind of candy bar is it? Or close enough like a, or like earthly a, equivalent? A butterfinger. I don't actually like those in real life, so let me like. So Vecna's finger. She loves it. <laughs> Vecna's finger. She unfortunately does not. She spits it out. <laughs> that is bad, she says, and then just kind of folds over the thing and hands it back to you. Be too sweet. I bet you there's not much that sweet around here. And she kind of thinks for a moment and nods. Not food for Hilga. That it is not. It's a treat some people like, but you can't live on it. Eventually, she uh, pulls the, uh, the the cooked roots out of the uh, out from the uh, the fire thing carefully. And uh, pulls out the two corpse, the, the, the two wrapped, cooked rabbit bodies, and lays them out on uh, the cloth, and starts uh, divvying them up, looking at the rest of you. It's not much compared to what she's preparing, but I'll go ahead and uh, take one of my rations, just kind of break it up a little bit, just so there's a little bit extra to the meal. Because I did buy that one where it was like fruit and some nuts and whatnot. Yeah. And she looks at the, she looks at the food and looks over at Tallulah. I'm not sure what that eats. First, I'm a girl. I'm a she. Two, I'm a garbage disposal. I'll eat just about anything. The the uh the orc gives you a funny look and th th just shakes her head a bit and Gimme I can imagine that she knows what a garbage disposal is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just looks at her. Gimme. And she she hands you one of the potatoes. She <laughs> two I look down. It's nice and hot. And steamy. Oh, just one. Hot. Do we need to toss it around in a circle? You expect me to eat one stinking tater. <laughs> I didn't even get this finesse and she like plops her shell by eating a potato. Pulls out a cabbage. Munches it aggressively. <laughs> yes. I need at least three potatoes. One second, guys. I feel like this is your most ag aggressive character yet, darling, and it scares me. I mean, yeah, she is pretty aggressive. You should have wanted to murder the other guy for no other reason than because they insulted you. Well, that's a good she reason. 
she is just happy to be able to be out of the office. <laughs> That's the big thing that concerns me. We're technically in modern day. She works a desk job, and she, oh, she looks forward <laughs> to killing back people. The office. Like, she's come, really coming out of her shell. Oh, <laughs> you broke her. Nice. <laughs> Can I come back now? Are we done? Yeah, I think they're done with puns for she, now. She may, she may be a tortoise. Don't you? She sure is your brain. <laughs> I just want to second her on that. But I'm not going to. Hello. She's muted. Sorry, guys. Uh, I, I I had to close the the the, uh, the window because apparently there is another cat outside, and my cat is in the middle of a of a, of a growling hissing match with it. I was making sure she was okay by closing the actual window so there wasn't just an open space in case the other cat. Um, you know, I, I don't know what the other cat might do, but I've heard th her this pissed off since I first brought home the other cat. My my I first brought home Vax, so. Yeah, and the other cat's hissing and growling back. So. so they were having a hissing contest. Yeah, it, no, no, I, 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 I made sure to close the window sash itself so that, you know, she's still staring and growling at the cat from out there, but at least there's uh, not a barrier. A barrier. Because right there could still, like, you know, scratch. They could have still scratched each other or something like that between the yeah. barrier. So just making sure she feels that my cat feels safe and not forcing her to not growl at the thing that's encroaching on her territory. So... Yep. I'm pretty sure it's a. I don't know if it's a stray or if, you know the. I, I did see a one of the cats in the the building that was actually outside had a collar on at one point, but I can't actually see out the window right now. It's too dark. I can just kind of make out a shape, and I can hear that it's another cat, not it like a raccoon or something like that. But anyway, sorry, that didn't mean to distract you guys. Oh, you're fine. We were just torturing uh, Tallulah with puns. Oh, wow. But anyway. But we're going to figure out what's going on because the dog is barking something fierce upstairs, like to the point where like you heard it catching through my mic. Yeah. I saw it lighting up. Like I said, my cat was is, is, is the same with, the, with another cat that's out there. Oh, and now Vax is getting in on this, too. I think he remembers when, when Lyra used to growl at him like that. But she was upset when he first came into her domain. Yeah, I think, can, can you guys hear her? That no, that but I'm going to go check now? what's going on upstairs. I'll be back. Okay. What about the rest of you guys? You guys okay? Guys? Yeah. Okay. Yep, just chilling. Cool, cool. It's definitely someone's cat. They've got a collar on out there, too. I wonder what it's doing outside. People just let their cats roam. Well, they didn't used to, so either somebody new but wandered in here, or some... It's been it's staying close to the building, and I'm pretty sure it's the same cat I saw out the window a couple of days ago, or maybe it was a week ago. And I don't know if maybe, you know, it just comes out at night now, and that's the thing, or... If uh, it's been, you know, out here all this time, that's that's kind of what got, what got me worried. You know, sometimes people also just do terrible things like, you know, throw their cats out. But, uh, yeah. I'm just reassuring my cats to make sure that they're okay. I have to remind myself that I do need to take, take Lear in for a vet visit so she gets her shot uh, for, um... You know, for uh, rabies soon. 
And when next time I go to the vet, go to the vets, I need to remember to bring water in my car because you know we're just sitting out there in my car. My car's uh, air conditioning is not so good. do guys you're safe if it is a, a lost uh, lost or stray cat I, I know my neighbor um ha get you know tends to uh, to rescue them if that's the case i don't know if, again it could just Hi. be somebody's pet that they, that comes hey. in what uh just letting you know apparently a bunch of else Family members, uh, aunt, uncle, and some family members just happened to drive by the house. They caught a catfish where literally its head is like the width of a basketball. A massive freaking catfish carp, whatever it is. I couldn't get a good look at it because I was you know, backing up because it's in the back of their boat and I didn't want to go climb up there. But this, part of my language, this fucker is huge. Did they catch like, it in literally... a catfish way or is it a, if it's not a catfish, it's... The, I don't. Uh, the, it was on some kind of line, and they tried to pick it up with a net. It broke the net. <laughs> Literally, this thing is heavy. All right. She's, she's been out to hang out with, with her family for a little bit because they randomly cat. dropped by. Haven't think seen that, her in ages. I think that cat is finally moving on outside. Mm -hmm. So can you guys hear me now? I can hear you. But yep. I, okay. I'm, 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 Thinking that with all, all the stuff that's going on, it's like you know, especially with you guys, the characters camping and eating yeah. nice dinner, well, you know, camp dinner. That this sounds like a good time to uh, call it for the night. And I need to go shut this. Yeah, I'm good. All right. Well, hope to see you again, um, guys, next week. Have a nice evening. Yep. yep. All right. Bye.